Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Land Plays The Binding of Isaac. Oh, thank heavens. Cain Run. Cain Run is good. I actually, uh, it's been a couple of days since I played the last run in The Binding of Isaac. Sometimes I say, you know, it's been forever since I played the, the Binding of Isaac last, and it's been like two days. Sometimes I say it's been a couple of days and it's been a week. This time it's actually been a couple of days. So, oh, I'm gonna try to get on the other side of this young gentleman here, and... Maybe I can get him to shoot a bomb down here that will actually uh, open this tinted rock up for me. I could use something like the small rock. Uh, and of course I could use the keys that could maybe show up as a result of blowing it up. Or the bombs that could show up as a result of blowing it up. Let's just see if we can bait him over here a little bit. Alright, now, nope! Oh, that's the perfect opportunity for you to not have been a douchebag. So he's almost dead, just give it a second here. Come down, shoot the bomb. And that'll do. We got a key out of it, so I think it was actually well worth it. Uh, we'll probably get bombs for killing him, and we got more keys as well, so that's going to sort us out as far as consumables go for the next little while. We don't really have any choice but to take Rusted Key. I mean, taking Rusted Key, not taking Rusted Key, is really just about, like, you know, knowing that it doesn't do anything unless Spider Mod actually uh, has a fix for it. Um, so, yeah, Rusted Key actually provides zero benefit. This isn't one of those situations where I'll take it. Um, this isn't one of those situations where I'm like, well, it doesn't provide very much benefit, like, I don't know, missing page or something like that, so I'll just leave it. This is a situation where, uh, you know, it literally provides absolutely no benefit. Now, that could be the secret room up there, but I'm gonna probably suggest that it isn't. And I'm happy with two bombs and two keys, so let's come on in here, and, uh, it's gonna be Blue Famine. Blue Famine is, um, maybe the most difficult famine, but truth be told, that's still not so bad. What's nice about this is that we should snag a Spirit Heart. We also have a Tinted Rock. So I'm thinking that we'll have a nice little Spirit Heart cushion for the next floor to hopefully give us a, a pretty solid uh, deal with the Devil Chance by not taking Red Heart damage. We'll see. I really thought that he would be down into the non-horse state. Okay, we were very close. That was non-horse, not anything gross, you sickos. Anyway, I'm just keep moving it up and around here. Welcome to the Dead Famine Town, and of course, Cube of Meat for us. And a uh, Tinted Rock gave us another Spirit Heart. I'd say that was, um, you know, a below average first floor in all likelihood. What is our item here? A sack of Pennies. Could be useful, but uh, as of yet, not exceptionally so. Um, yeah, I think it was kind of an, a below average first floor. We got a speed upgrade and a Cube of Meat. Really want HP, damage tiers, uh, space bar item that's half decent. I'm gonna see if I can get this guy to uh, explode. I want, I know that sounded, you know, like I was offering some kind of sexual innuendo, I was not. I'm gonna assume that that probably got close enough to find out whether or not the second secret room was there. Not like I'll actually, you know, have a great chance to look, or great impetus and motivation at all to look for the second secret room, but let's just assume that I did a good job there. Golden chest is interesting, but also um, not something I'm really gonna worry too much about for now. If the key situation gets a lot better, we will take Kane's eye here. If the key situation gets a lot better, we might take a look at that, but uh, for right now, I don't think that's going to be the most important thing in the world for us. Really want to save keys, uh, maybe for item rooms, shops in the future. Uh, that easily could have been a little bit of damage, so I've got to be a little bit more careful. These spiders are kind of like my nemesis on this floor. The little spiders, you know, usually don't get hit by them anymore. I may actually open up that golden chest now that we have a, a spare key for sure. Uh, inside we get a half red heart, so fuck me. Maybe we'll get a temperance card and we can get, uh, some money back. Does, I'm trying to, like, internalize, or not internalize, visualize where the secret room may be in this situation. And it's a complicated kind of proposition here, isn't it? Normally, it's fairly easy, it's in the location that has, you know, the most adjacent rooms for the most part. Uh, we don't really have that here, we have a lot of rooms that are unfortunately basically tied. We got lucky enough to find more keys. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna find the secret room on this floor, so we could probably kiss this shop goodbye. But it has been an easy floor so far, and plenty of keys. Sack of pennies, you know, a pretty mediocre um, item room item, but this could all be forgiven if we get a decent boss item as well as a, uh, a deal with the devil. And it should be a deal with the, uh, the devil. I don't think we have any deal with the, the angel chance. I'm gonna use the death card. Just because that was proving to be kind of annoying. Well, the crate's not so bad. 
Um, and we know that all pills are good, so it might actually end up being very good. The Fool card is one we can take with us later. Um, we got Bombs are Key, which is terrible kind of right now, but what do we have in here? A fight against Krampus? Well, I am way faster than I thought I was. We'll, we'll kill Krampus, we'll get uh, a cube of meat, sorry, not cube of meat, lump of coal. Weirdly kind of similar, uh, you know, phrasing there. And if I even lose all of my spirit hearts, I won't be happy about it, but I'll, I'll understand. Not sure why it's, oh, that was so bad. Not sure why it's getting kind of framey right now. Actually, that last bit of damage I took is because I looked at Skype to see if somebody was like, hey, motherfucker, play your Blood Bowl game. Now, we are at... About 40% remaining health. Truth be told, it's actually okay to get Lump of Coal. I mean, Lump of Coal, you know, on its own merits is a pretty decent item. I was hoping for something a little bit better, a little bit more, you know, bombastic, shaggy style as Kane. Um, but we don't have that much HP, so a free item is not the end of the world, especially when it's pretty solid. It also means, you know, no more Krampus for the remainder of the game. It's just kind of disappointing to get Krampus in your first deal with the Devil Room. You know, it's like, again, getting a... Oh, thanks for the key, I appreciate that. But it's like getting, um, you know, a savings bond on your ninth birthday. It's like, well, th what a smart, responsible decision, Dad. Thank you very much. Uh, we go down to the next floor. It's Caves Part 1, and we're still in a pretty comfortable position here, let's be honest. We've had a speed upgrade. We've had a lot of spirit hearts. In fact, the unfortunate part of that, um, <clears throat> that crates, or the cardboard box, is that it actually ended up being pretty bad. Mostly, I think the crate is an underrated item, or the box is an underrated item, but um, this didn't really do a great job of showing that off. We got a Bombs or Key pill, a Spirit Heart a Key, yes, um, but uh, the Tarot card was the Fool, which is useful, but not immediately. You know, it's just, you know, you especially as Kane, you'd expect to maybe snag a Tears upgrade or something uh, as a result of the pill, and maybe a good card, and, you know, life's good instead. Um, I would have much preferred to just get like an HP or a tiers upgrade from the boss. I actually, for the most part, think that the the crate is oftentimes better than an HP upgrade from the boss, but uh, that did not prove itself in uh, our most recent situation. So being on the caves is good. If we can find the secret room, we should have enough money to be able to buy something from the shop. Uh, all the rooms are very, very close together here. Well, not all the rooms, but all of these rooms are very, very close together, I guess, you know, more or less by definition. I am still rolling on Spirit Hearts, not playing fantastically, but hoping that this at least gives me a, a pretty good chance to get a deal with the devil. Let's see what we've got going on in here. Maybe we'll take a look at that. Let's take a quick look at our uh, item room. Dead Sea Scrolls is an item. It is, I can't deny that. Um, we'll use it on the boss fight. Hopefully it is not Kamikaze. Hopefully it's something that really helps us out, and we'll see what we've got inside of this treasure chest right away as well. It is... Uh, another bombs are key pill, unfortunately. Fortunately? Unfortunately? I don't know. And we're fighting the Fallen. And we got Kamikaze, of course, so... Um, really lowers our deal with the devil chance, but in a way, you know, we don't really need a deal with the devil chance, because we have a deal with the devil chance, or guarantee, basically. Uh, immediately on this fight. So I'm gonna try my best not to take any more damage. The Fallen is actually, as long as your speed's up there, the Fallen is a pretty easy boss fight. Um, if your speed is low, you're fucked. But if your speed's alright, you should be fine. Um, it is easy to take one or two hits though, so hopefully we'll just get lucky and not find ourselves in that position. If we could just kill one of them, uh, it would simplify things a great deal. Which is why I'm Focusing on absolutely neither of them. Instead, taking them out piecemeal. Oh, okay. They've got to be so close. I mean, the, the meter itself is at like 10%. They've got to be nearly dead. One of them has to be nearly dead. There we go. One of them is fully dead. How about you? Ah, there we go. So we got Brimstone. I'm going to take it. I know. I know. What an asshole. Um, but... You know, that's maybe an item that we absolutely need in order to succeed. I'm gonna not take these bombs. So how I'm gonna do this, we'll use Dead Sea Scrolls on this room. Book of Sin. Thanks for the penny? Okay. Um, how we'll do this is we'll use, oh actually we should just do it right away maybe. Just so we don't mess it up. Uh, I'm gonna take the uh, bombs or key pill. This will thereby... Oh, that was bad of me. This will thereby allow me to pick these up and then have a decent amount of keys and bombs. Okay, I'm, I'm happy with that. More money. We're up to 13 cents. This could be a, a pretty amazing floor. 
I know some people are going to be disappointed that I have picked up Brimstone. Keep in mind we are on the third floor with zero HP upgrades as a character that starts with some low HP. So I'm going to do basically whatever it is that I have to do in order to um, survive at this point. And I think taking a, a good item is a pretty you know important step on the road to survival. Now, we are doing decent damage. That takes us up to 14 cents. I kind of want to go in there, but it, it is smarter for me to just wait until the money is guaranteed, which it is now. There can't be a greed in here. Uh, there is a mom's purse. It's actually not as obvious of a choice as it might have looked, because mom's purse is good, but it's not going to keep us alive if we get hit by uh, a bomb or something like that, a green bomb or, you know, some shots from greed or something like that. What I'm trying to get at, essentially, in the most awkward way possible, is that we're kind of low on health. I'm going to check out our curse room in the hopes that it provides us with some kind of uh, tangible benefit. And if we get hurt here, we may actually die. Although I should be able to fool card out. But I'm not going to fool card out because I know there's more HP for me. I didn't take damage walking out of there. That is uh, unusual. I'm not sure what's up with that, but I am very happy because now we can get back to full health and head down to the next floor and I can take a second to recaffeinate. So we have a real issue on this run. We do have Brimstone, that's lovely, don't get me wrong. Nice little, uh, you know, Brimstone in the park on a spring day, it's, it's a good time to be me. That being said, without any HP, I am pretty worried about things. The fact that Wiggle Worm can be one of your items from Dead Sea Scrolls is just the most comical shit of all time. Uh, I actually am a little wary- oh no. I actually am a little wary about Dead Sea Scrolls because Kamikaze in an unexpected situation could really mess me up. Are you telling me that as Kane, the only pill in this rotation is bombs are key? I'm finding that pretty fucking hard to believe, but that's the third one that we've gotten so far. And we've gotten no other pills, so it's kind of crazy. Okay, we did find our item room. What do we have in here? The hourglass? Man, I don't know. Dead Sea Scrolls might be a lot better, but um, I'm going to take the hourglass because there's no chance of the hourglass killing me. This has been, ex with the exception of Brimstone, this has been a pretty unlucky run so far. And I know that sounds like, you know, very convenient for me to say. Gives me a pretty good excuse in case I lose, right? Well, luck was bad the whole time. Yeah, but it kind of has been. So, get out of here with your your platitudes. I'm discussing like a real situation here. Don't talk to me about the, in a perfect world, blah, 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 okay? We live in the real world. And in the real world, Hourglass on the fourth floor as your active spacebar item is not a position you really want to be in. I really actually want to go into the shop. The main reason behind that is because I, I kind of want to fight greed. But I don't want to uh, possibly get myself killed or, you know, close to killed right before the boss room in doing it. I think I'll check for the secret room here, see if we can bomb our way into the boss trap room. We can, um... Maybe we'll come back for that, but for now, let's just go into the boss trap room. HP? Ah, okay. We get meat. Meat is, uh, it's solid. It's a good upgrade. It's HP, tears, damage. I can't remember which of the two, but they're, they're more or less synonymous with me because I don't concern myself with the, you know, basic mechanics of the game. That's never gotten in my way of enjoyment. Lack of knowledge has never gotten in my way of having a good time. Mostly with respect to intercourse, but okay, we're back to full health. Five cents. Uh, let us shredded cheese, sour cream, ground beef. I'm just giving you my recipe for uh, a taco salad right now. Maybe some corn salsa. I don't know. Let's make our way over here. Fight the boss. Our shop was terrible, but we uh, are spoiled when it comes to our keys, so that's okay. And we're going to be fighting a relatively easy boss. Especially with Brimstone, maybe a deal with the devil? Absolutely not, that is just uh, absurd, why even ask? A keyboard uh, broke for a second there and is forcing me to walk in this direction, so I guess we'll just kind of roll with this for a while. Um, I can influence it, I can stop myself from moving to the left, but I can't make myself move to the right. Um, Alright. So, you're not, gonna, you're not gonna end the run like this, are we, game? Oh, uh, well, um, say back here. Did that? No, that didn't do it. 
Okay, this has happened before in Isaac. I'm not really sure what to do about it. Maybe if I turn my keyboard off and then turn it back on again? Where's the switch on this bad boy? There you go. Alright, keyboard off. Keyboard uh, back on. Nope. Uh, okay. Well, it's gonna be pretty difficult for me. Uh, oh, there we go. We did it. Read it. It only took like six rooms for some reason. Uh, I do want to go to the um, curse room anyway, but I don't know what causes that. That does happen in vanilla Binding of Isaac. I think that's maybe the first time I've had it happen in Spider Mod, though. Might be a, a hardware issue. Might be with the game. I don't know. Uh, sure, we got some flies. Those will be more or less totally worthless. I still don't know why I'm not taking damage on the way out of the curse rooms. I, I'm not... I, I, don't, I can't fly. I don't have the ability to fly. What's up with that? I like it, but it's weird. Kind of like Maggie Gyllenhaal? It's the best I could do on short notice. Um, there we go. So we'll take our spirit heart. Depths part one. Just looking at where I want to go first. Probably the item room. And we got lucky, you know, we doubled our HP on that last floor. We improved our damage a little bit as well. Or our tiers. We improved our DPS a little bit anyway. Um, so, I'd say that was a pretty good floor, all things considered. We are still lacking some items that I would consider very nice to have. That was wonderful, thank you. Uh, anytime you want to just, like, do that exact same thing again, I'll be happy to oblige. We charge our brimstone pretty quickly, and it does a decent amount of damage. What I really should learn, uh, and you know what? Pretty good room to learn it on is uh, how many rooms it takes for the hourglass to recharge. I really don't like that it lets these guys shoot twice, but um, recharges once every two rooms. All right, that's good to know. So I can plan for using it in the future. We get Ouija board, which is actually totally worthless for us. What item rooms have not been totally worthless for us? I refuse to say that Dead Sea Scrolls was one of them. Um, I refuse to say that the hourglass is one of them. Those affect my chances of survival or success on this run so little that I don't want to even give them that kind of credit. We found our secret room uh, largely by accident there. Secret rooms have also been uh, basically trash. Almost every single one has contained uh, simply a vessel to actually take money as opposed to giving me money. And uh, we can't reroll this, so I guess we're just kind of stuck taking the steam sale when there's only one shop remaining in the game. That being said, you know, we are Kane. Let's go, I, allow me to be kind of a curmudgeon here, you know, allow me to be mopey, a little bit of a piece of shit, uh, you know, a Debbie Downer, whatever you want to call it. I want to count the ways that this run has been kind of bad so far. We've already gone over, um, bad, uh, we don't want Cursed Skull. We've already gone over bad item rooms. Pretty bad shops as well, although we do have Mom's Purse, our trinket is not amazing. Kane's Eye, it's alright. Um, our pills as Kane have exclusively been bombs or key. Now, mind you, if we want to talk about things that have been lucky on this run so far, we've gotten a lot of keys, and they keep coming, thankfully. Um, but yeah, boss room items. We got the cardboard box. It gave us bombs or key and a, a pretty shitty tarot card that I'm still holding on to. Now, Ace of Spades actually makes me feel a lot better. Ace of Spades is a, a very good tarot card, and if it ends up giving us the Joker card, that will go a long way towards neutralizing my next complaint, bad deals with the devil. The free brimstone item accepted, um, you know, our only deal with the devil so far has given us Krampus and a lump of coal, which may or may not even apply with brimstone. I know the magician doesn't, at least not until rebirth's out, so let's see if we can maybe break the cycle here and get um, some uh, half-decent deal with the devil chance. We should be able to go to the shop on the next floor as well. And the weird thing is, like, despite getting very little HP outside of that last floor, I still feel like this run is fairly winnable. I guess we take the chariot card into the boss fight, because I want to take the fool card down to the next floor, even though the chariot could give us a pretty good, uh, you know, blood bank run. What do we have here? We have war? Okay, so we'll get a second level cube of meat, which is what it is. And what it is is, like, a, a decent familiar slash orbital. I'm okay with that. We have the speed necessary to get the fuck out of War's way, for sure. And uh, we have the damage necessary to take him out in a relatively expedited fashion. That'll do it. And we did get a deal with the Devil here. No HP, obviously, because we got the cube of meat. And what do you got for me? Guppy's Head and Book of Belial. Now, Book of Belial is uh, pretty solid, but I'm not going to take it. Our HP, I think, is a little bit more valuable at this point. 
And what do we do now? Well, um, we go to the curse room because we really hope that there's uh, basically a free ability to fly in there or something. What a, uh, a wild run so far. We're doing a lot better than we should be in spite of our luck. Largely, maybe exclusively because of that first, uh, or that brimstone pickup on the third floor. All right, we got spiders and flies. I don't really want to shoot the, uh, we actually got hurt on the way out there. Make up your mind, game. There's a little bit of HP. I was just thinking maybe I want to go to the self-sacrifice room. Yeah, there's a lot of HP. We can go to the self-sacrifice room. Just don't get yourself killed on spikes on the way out, and life will be good. Oh, we already got our payout anyway. And it's the left hand. Well, left hand Ace of Spades is better than uh, left hand, or sorry, Ace of Spades Kane's Eye. So we'll head down to the depths part two. And at this point, you know, no map, no compass, decent damage, low HP. It's going to be a, a tough run, but we've made tough runs work before. Maybe the easiest shortcut to success would just be picking up like an Ankh or a very, very good tarot card or a one-up. Anything that gives us another crack at life if we die. Hmm. At least we are on the depths, not Necropolis. And uh, I should be using the Hourglass more often. But I only really want to use it on rooms where we stand a chance to take damage in the first place. Like this room is even like a borderline case because with uh, like nothing to worry about with respect to like you know, rocks blocking my path or something like that. Well, we'll check this out. Okay, wonderful. Uh, at least we did kill one of the gluttonies as a result. Um, but yeah, I, I was very unlikely to take damage from those Zambros, but what's done is done, and we did use the hourglass there. And um, I'm really surprised we didn't get the kill there. We did get it there, though. Oh, I forgot that you guys aren't zombies. You're actually a little tougher than zombies for me with this current build. And there we go. Our tarot card. The Lovers. We'll pop the Lovers card and just kind of leave it there. Uh, we'll come back for that HP later. I'm assuming there will be an arcade on this floor. Yeah, just because it would be very surprising if there were not, given that we haven't had one so far and our money situation has been pretty good. Oh, you're you're like a living thing right there, aren't you? All right, we have a new pill. It has to be okay. Tears up. That's all right. I'll take it. If we find out there's full health pills in our rotation, then uh, things get pretty interesting. Hopefully. And we're going to go down to two hearts here. And then we're going to leave just because we... Ah, oh, you know what? We can go way lower because there's other red hearts available. Yes. Okay. That's about where I'm comfortable here. There's some extra red hearts. There's definitely some extra red hearts. Could go fight the boss right away. We found a seam, though. You know, I'm, I'm always fond of the uh, the narrative that, that these Isaac runs are all about basically living long enough for the game to give you uh, kind of a thread that you can pull on to unravel the whole uh, the whole situation. What do we have here? Two of spades. Um, so two of spades is uh, double our keys. I think I'm just going to use it right away. I know that a lot of people are going to get like a tick in their face as a result of that. That's okay. Eight keys is, is adequate and I want to make sure I'm keeping this uh, fool card. Because it... Uh, you know, gives us a pretty good chance of getting that deal with the devil. And if I get a, an ability to fly or something like that, that's really, at this point... Actually, you know what? Not ability to fly. Guppy's Paw is what I want. I would totally give up the Hourglass for Guppy's Paw. And then uh, I could use it when necessary, or when prudent, um, to give myself the, the best possible Spirit Heart payout. Uh, I think Guppy's Paw is our ideal item right now. Hopefully we can make it happen. Really would be surprised... That was bad damage. Really would be surprised to run into greed or super greed here. Especially after we got the steam sale. Play nice game. Alright, we got the map. The map is acceptable. We will buy uh, the tarot card. It's the moon, which allows us to go to the secret room for free. We'll also buy the key. The secret room contains a little bit of money. Okay, this has been sorted out. That was a very dumb play. It's going to make this room a lot longer than is necessary. Okay we can't really get to. There's our item room. Without the turrets, this room would be so easy. Or the turret. This room would be so easy. But there is a turret. And we can't get to that, unfortunately. And we get the unicorn horn. Better than the hourglass, I would say, but still pretty bad. And when I say better than the hourglass, I, I really mean, like, borderline better than the hourglass. Um, it's, it's a little bit better for us on this floor because we do have that, uh, 
I don't know if that's worth it. Um, we do have the, the blood bank that we want to make the best possible use of, of course. Ooh. Um, but, you know, the hourglass working once every two rooms is a huge advantage. We, we get like 22 cents over the course of the last like two rooms. That's crazy. Now, we do still have a, uh, we have the fool card that we're supposed to take, or I would like to take. At this point, I might as well buy the other spirit heart, and we'll talk about what to do with this uh, red heart situation. I kind of just want to fight the boss before I go to town on this uh, blood bank. As much as I would love the HP upgrade, and a speed upgrade would be not the worst thing in the world, um, better to be smart, I'd say. Better safe than sorry. Um, just keep this up. Alrighty. Another couple of shots in here should finish the job. We're still, like, offensively much stronger than the enemy. So we're going to face Mom here. And uh, if possible, I'm going to avoid using the Unicorn Horn because it could give me three, maybe four more plays on the Blood Bank uh, by itself. Also, the another good reason for going through this first is that um, having the Polaroid for the Blood Bank means that I'll get a few more plays with Invincibility. And maybe I can be creative and get, uh, you know, even a few more plays on top of that. Just by only replenishing my health when uh, I'm already at a half heart interval. Uh, when I'm already at the half heart interval, like one half heart. Anyway, it's not really an interval, is it? That's like the bare minimum. Almost done with this fight, a very easy one. We did take damage at the end. We also got Jesus Juice, which is fine, I guess. Take our health, we'll take the Polaroid, and we'll take Ace of Spades, just because the possibility of those um, Joker cards is quite titillating, not to be gross. That's a real English word. Um, and now we just go to town on this, so never mind, we're done. That was really quick. Some might see a need to gamble here. I don't really at this point. Um, we have enough keys. Yeah, it'd be nice to have more bombs for the mom's heart boss fight, but I'm not gonna waste like 15 minutes looking for things to make the mom's heart boss fight better. Uh, that should be the least of our worries moving onwards here. Okay. I'm not incredibly optimistic about this. Why do I not have... Oh, because I used the card, of course. I was... I really got scared for a second and was like, Oh, am I a big idiot? Did I get rid of a super useful tarot card? Well, I did. We didn't get the deal with the devil, unless I'm incredibly short-sighted. I didn't even mention it as I was walking through there, because I was, you know, so focused on getting that delicious caffeinated beverage between my lips. Now, we have a secret room. That's lovely. We are on an XL floor. Uh, plenty of possible locations for the uh, boss rooms here. It's almost not even worth hypothesizing, but I'm gonna hypothesize they're over here in this like right little flexing area. You see that arm kind of looks like it's flexing. That's what we're gonna go for. Now, the money, very unlikely to be useful. Uh, well, I should say money is still useful. The extra money that we got there at this point is probably just overkill, but I'm very thankful to have gotten that HP upgrade. Makes our life much easier. We are tearing through these rooms pretty quickly. Two of hearts, probably a more important card than High Priestess right now. This is gonna hurt. Oh, maybe, maybe not. Yeah, okay. Why are we getting so much money? I guess Kane, oh, I should have known this was a dead end now. Kane plus, um, like his luck upgrades, plus Sack of Pennies makes him uh, really, really good at getting uh, a fuck ton of uh, ducats. Now, if we just stay over here, this is like your your dream home, except instead of a home, it's an arena in which you fight an asshole monster. Uh, this is your dream home for the Gertie Jr. fight, because he's kind of trapped in his own little area over there. Or you're trapped in your own little area, but either way, it doesn't matter, because you're happy to be trapped when the alternative is Gertie Jr., you know, running the fucking train on your brother. Now, got a couple of uh, guts here, easy enough to kill. We're gaining, like, seriously two cents per room at this point, which is just madness. Oh, okay, that is a chain reaction waiting to happen, and uh, a half-heart interval waiting to happen as well. How interesting. We will open golden chests uh, at this point. It's super interesting, alright? Um, curved horn is, in my opinion, one of the- oh, shit, okay. That was a desperation use. Are you serious that I can't even kill one heart as a result of having it? But even just the invincibility there was really useful to avoid taking that spirit heart. Um, anyway, what I was saying, Curved Horn is like really freaking good, I'll admit. Curved Horn is excellent. Is it better than the chance to get a Joker card? I don't think so. Like the damage upgrade, I just don't think is worth 
replacing the Ace of Spades. I may be wrong. I may be... Fuck it. We can still get uh, items on the chest, okay? We're not gonna... Well... I mean, okay, let's put it this way. A Joker card on this floor wouldn't have even given us a deal with the Devil. It would have given us a trip down to Shoal, I think, so... Um, maybe the damage upgrade is, is a safer bet and a, a better bet as a result, so... I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and suggest that this is the proper way to handle this. Might be... Kind of short-sighted, but I actually, you know, now that I've looked at the reasoning, or I've thought about the reasoning, I should say, uh, I think that this was a pretty good choice at this point of the game. Earlier in the game, uh, yeah, he, he baited me into that one, fair enough. There's our HP at least. Uh, earlier into the game, it might have been um, better to take uh, Ace of Spades instead of Curved Horn. Now, I'm just gonna hopefully do crowd control without the need for so many bombs here. But, yeah, whenever there's a boss, maybe it's worth it. Um, and it, the reason it might have been better to get that card earlier is because, you know, it gives you more of a chance to get, um, you know, deals with the devil cumulatively over the course of the entirety of the game. Which, uh, obviously, we didn't really have the opportunity for that, having gotten that only on the last floor, pretty much. So it's going to be a slow mom's heart fight. This is not uh, indicative of us being not very powerful right now. Uh, it's actually more just, you know, we don't have bombs really, so uh, we kind of just have to make do with what we've got. So we're going to end up fighting some enemies twice, but it should still be a very easy Mom's Heart boss fight. The biggest problem with this run right now, beyond only having 7 HP and not absurd damage, is, um, you know, bad spacebar item is, is part of it. No ability to fly is kind of the big one. If there's any way we could snag uh, an ability to fly, I would be sitting pretty. So that uh, deal with the Angel Room still just gives us a trip down to Shoal. I've, I've checked many a time. St and you were wondering why I reiterate that. I still get people messaging me, not every day anymore, but, you know, they'll be on Twitter and they'll be like, dude, that last run was painful to watch. You skipped a deal with the devil after the Mom's Heart boss fight. And I'm like, whoa, is there like some kind of weird mechanic where I accidentally spawned like a real, or unknowingly spawned a real deal with the devil on the Mom's, mom's Heart boss fight? If so, that's really fucking cool, but then they're like, oh, sorry, I just didn't know. And I'm not trying to make those people feel like assholes. Although, you know, to say that was painful to watch, you know, it does kind of come across a little bit assholish. But, yeah, that, that's the reason I reiterate things in these Isaac episodes. You know, not everyone's been watching for 200 episodes. Or 800 episodes, or, um, you know, 12 episodes. So, no bombs here sucks. Um... I guess if you want to be abstract, one of the nice things about this floor right now is that I know exactly where to go. Um, I know exactly where the boss room has to be just because there's not really too much choice in the matter here. Which is bad because it means that, you know, we've got to go through the entirety of the floor. But it's good because it means I'm not, you know, deluding myself. I know there's a secret room we can go to. I know there's a tinted rock. I just kind of want to open up, uh, you know, everything we got on this floor first. Really would like to kill one enemy. Any enemy. Okay, there's two enemies dead. Now it should be easy. Yeah, there we go. Looked very scary there for a minute, and then we uh, we pulled it together. That's all right. Should be able to one-shot those greeds. Fuck the flies. Yeah, and we can just leave, and those flies will be dead. By the time we come back, because they have a lifespan of about 30 seconds. Curse room is not, in, uh, not on my to-do list right now. Oh, that was wonderful. And more bombs. Now we're getting, you know, a bomb per room. Very happy to be a part of that uh, smorgasbord. Okay. One more room should give us access to the boss room. I don't really want to use the unicorn horn here. Um, you know, brimstone with a reasonably quick charge should be more than enough to, to take care of these guys before they become super problematic. And uh, the unicorn horn, much more useful on the, uh, on the Isaac fight. Alrighty. Let's go give ourselves the best chance possible here. What that means is we'll check out the secret room, we'll check out the, uh, Tinted Rock. Whoa, there's, I was just quiet for a second, there's like people yelling outside. I never hear, like, anybody outside of my door. We have like, I, I always say like, we don't live in a bad area. Um, we really, really do not, it's actually quite a nice area. But we have like super heavy doors, um, and I've never heard any voices. So that I'm, I can only conclude that outside is like literally an angry Gandalf the Grey or something like that. It is like penetrating the the concrete. It's it's absurd. It's Ron Perlman. 
It's, uh, you know, Tom Waits reincarnated as a Banshee. There's, um, it, it's, it's majestic in some ways. Anyway, let's focus. I can't afford to lose my focus at this of all pivotal moments. I really think we have a very good chance of beating Isaac here. I'm not going to use the Unicorn Horn until um, the Angel Fetuses start showing up. This is going to be a slow fight. It is a slow burn. Get, you know, a snack. Get ready. The good news is, you know, I'm firing in one shot that's basically undodgeable. He's firing in more shots that are very, very dodgeable. Now, we do have one orbital as well in case, you know, something like that happens. We're through the first phase without taking any damage. Unicorn Horn is um, for taking care of angel fetuses. I'm reiterating it for you as well as for myself, just to keep a good plan in my mind for how things should go on this one. Oop. Yeah, okay, we're gonna get down to the third phase in a second. Very happy I took the curved horn, although I guess we'd never know if we're missing out on a card that the Ace of Spades would've given us. There's a little bit of damage. That's all right, third phase. Not yet, wait for more angel fetuses. Wait for more angel fetuses. Now is the good time to use it, I would say. And if there's five eight. oh no! I don't want to talk about that. How did that happen? How did that door open? I didn't use any bombs. Did I just... Did I somehow unicorn horn my way through the door? I have never seen that happen before. And now, of course, I'm taking, like, way, way more damage. We should still win uh, the, the Isaac fight. That puts a real damper on things, though, because this is basically just, like, lost health for no reason. I was doing pretty well. And then that awful, um, you know, accident happened there. Like, there was not a bomb that I blew up to open up that door. That's not even how boss rooms work. What a very strange coincidence. Um, or, you know, incidents, I guess. Not really a coincidence. Uh, well, we're gonna be on Angel Fetus Town again. And we've gotten lucky enough to not take very much damage in spite of the fact that, you know, I kind of fucked myself up greatly. Oh, well, that was almost a, a hit there. Luckily, Isaac's being quite nice and uh, not spawning too many angel fetuses. He did hit me in the face with one of those homing bullets, but, you know, you gotta at least put on a show. Uh, ooh, ooh, we did it, okay. Make sure we, oh, that was close. Make sure we land some shots in there. Uh, I'm not gonna get to a half-heart interval. I don't want to get to a half-heart interval. Uh, what? All right, um... This was the weirdest Isaac run of all time. I... My keyboard broke for a while. I turned it off and then turned it back on. When I, uh... Did I not have the Polaroid? I gotta go back and watch that footage. Maybe I decided not to take the Polaroid? Did I have... Did I have curved horn ace of spades? How did I get out of that room? I... I love everybody and everything. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, click the like button. I'm going to try to unravel the mystery that is my David Lynchian existence right now. And, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and I'll see you tomorrow.